Hello, I'm going to do the Virgo Love Energies for June. And this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. All right, I made some cards here, so we're going to pull some of these. So we've got, <clears throat> write down 10 positive things about yourself or another, another person. We've got, I can do this, we have time, and are there red flags? So it may be that you're questioning your partner. Um, maybe there's some things that you're seeing that you're wondering about. Maybe it's about you refocusing on the positive things from your partner. Maybe you're just focusing on the negative. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. All right, so let's pull some cards for I can do this. There are some things, emotions, there's things that you're thinking about. feel like it's about giving your relationship a fresh start. Um, there are a lot of things that you're thinking about. There's a lot of things on your mind. So maybe it's about finding that clarity and taking those steps to finding that clarity to finding that balance within your relationship. Um, maybe it's just your own balance. Maybe you have a lot of thoughts going on about your partner. Like you have all of these things going on. Like you're almost overwhelmed. Like you're almost overanalyzing the, your partner. Like you're almost overthinking it. We have time. We have the Emperor. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Moon. And then we have the Six of Swords. It's about putting a plan in place. Organizing your thoughts. Figuring out what it is that you want to say. Um, <clears throat> and then moving forward before you say it. Maybe it's like, in, you know, not just blurting things out. Don't just say something. Don't just you know, have a knee-jerk reaction where you're just talking about something or you're just saying something um, because that can cause a lot of problems. We also have um, Mercury retrograde and that starts on May 29th and it goes until June 22nd. So that's where, you know, there can be lots of misunderstandings. There can be miscommunication. There can be, you know, delays with things. There can be, you know, things can get messed up. So it's about just being really careful about how you say things and how you do things. Maybe it's about maybe waiting until the, you know, for time, maybe, when I saw that, I thought of the Mercury retrograde is like waiting until that time is over so that there is no miscommunications. Um, maybe there are some red flags. Maybe there are some things that you have to address and then let go of. Um, we have the Hermit, which is your card, and then we have the Three of Cups. We have got the King of Cups. Maybe it's about not holding on to some things. Maybe you're thinking that there's red flags, but there really aren't any red flags. You know, maybe you're overthinking things. Maybe you're, you know, taking things the wrong way. Write down 10 positive things. Two of Wands. Three of Pentacles, Justice, and Six of... I feel like that, you know, maybe it's about... Maybe you've just been focusing on a lot of negative things about your partner and it's it's time to kind of readjust your thinking and think about the positive things that are going on in your relationship because sometimes we kind of get caught up. It almost feels like it's easier to be negative than it is to be positive. You know what I mean? Um... And maybe kind of that's what's happening in your relationship. And maybe it's about getting back to those positive things on why you were, you know, attracted to your partner in the first place. 
What are those things that really attracted you to your partner in the first place? Let's do the fool. I feel like maybe something has happened and that you're assuming something and you didn't go to your partner to talk about it. And that's what you need to do is you need to talk about it with your partner. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, there's something that you have to talk about with your partner. There's something that you've been holding on to. There's something that you've been wanting to express to your partner. There's some information that you received or there's maybe your mind is overthinking that it's over, you know, because we have this here um, that you've been... Kind of overthinking something and you need to talk to your partner about it because you're making assumptions three of cups page of pentacles eight of pentacles and ten of swords there's something you have to release there's something you have to let go of there's something that you've been holding on to and it's almost about you learning how to deal with if you think there's red flags if you think there's something going on if you're overthinking something it's time for you to not hold on to those things and for you to directly go to your partner and express those feelings and to be able to say hey this is on my mind this is what I've been thinking um, you know this is what's been bothering me and discussing that with your partner and having that communication and that connection and working things out instead of letting things get to the boiling part point to where they're misunderstood and it becomes a bigger problem because people can pick up other people's energies and if you're holding on to something I'm pretty sure that your partner probably already realizes that there's something that you've got on your mind that that you want to talk about and you you know they may have asked you and you said no I'm fine I'm fine well when anyone anytime anyone says I'm fine they're really not fine there's really something that they're they're holding on to and I feel like maybe it's more about you know having better communication on your end and not holding on to things. All right, we have an angel answers card. Yes. <laughs> That's a big yes. <laughs> so, because I said maybe it's about you holding on to things on your end and you working better on your communication. And then we got a big yes from the angel answers. So it's something for you to think about. And again, you know, maybe it's about, you know, waiting until after the retrograde, um, to express because you don't want any miscommunication if you're finally ready to speak up and talk up and and say your piece that you want to make sure that it's you know the at the best time so there is no miscommunications I mean that's up to you what you want to do um but I do feel it's about you being able to express yourself more and not hold on to things and not make assumptions and communicate more with your partner. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.